You won't know what hit you. <laughs> Game Trailer 2012 Best of E3 Awards. Best Fighting Game. What was once a niche in the great span of gaming has come back as the genre that nearly every company now seems eager to throw a punch at. From superheroes and school children to the first party champions of PlayStation fame, these are the fighting games that caused the most commotion at this year's show. Whose fighters were the fastest, flashiest, and above all, most fun to play? They're all praiseworthy contenders in their own right, but only one can be the champ. And the nominees are... Dead or Alive 5. After an extended hiatus away from the ring, the Bucks and Beauties of Fighting return looking better than ever. But don't let their pretty faces fool you. Team Ninja is determined to make the latest Dead or Alive title a more serious fighter than ever before, tuning old mechanics to tournament spec, as well as implementing pivotal new gameplay elements that bring a cinematic flair to each frantic fight. Along with guest characters from Virtua Fighter on deck, this latest entry in the Femme Fighting series is certainly primed to pack a punch. Injustice, Gods Among Us. Proving that they still have it after releasing the well-received Mortal Kombat revamp last year, NetherRealm Studios has pulled the curtain back on its second take on a DC Comics brawler. Expect past mistakes to be undone and bold new innovations like a huge emphasis on stage interaction. In true comic book fashion, we can't wait to see what's next for this visually exciting fighter. Persona 4 Arena with several anime and game releases, the Persona series has definitely had one of its busiest years yet, and it's still got one left in the chamber. A joint collaboration with Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue creator Arc System Works, Persona 4 Arena brings an intriguing mix of the famous RPG subsystems and spectral phantoms of its source material with the deep and fast-paced fighting mechanics that its developer is known for. PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale Pitting the likes of Parappa against franchise heavyweights like Kratos and Nathan Drake, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale presents the ultimate what-if scenario among the best and brightest of Sony's superstar stable. And yes, though the format may seem familiar, a serious effort in developing a strategic combat system that works with the IP-laden stages goes a long way. Now if we can just get Kevin Butler as a hidden character. Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Tekken's most popular installment finally gets its long overdue sequel, bringing an upgraded tag mechanic in its wake, along with one of the biggest rosters in series history. New features including the Fight Lab offer inventive new ways to approach learning the game, along with a personalized combat that can be taught a regiment of moves to create the ultimate homegrown warrior. This one-time arcade champion seems determined to finally take back the crown. And the winner is... Persona 4 Arena. In a close race that inevitably comes down to a game of inches, in the end, it's clear that Persona stands out for more than just its vivid sprite work. Finding ingenious ways to bridge the gap between fighter and RPG, it has a solid combat foundation. It's not only one of the most uniquely flavored fighting games we've seen yet, but its concepts are polished and fruitful, making it the best fighting game of E3 2012. <laughs>